That's a steep one. Second day of fall. Yesterday was the 21st of September. As you see, the fall is approaching with big steps, and it is my favorite time of the year because everything looks spectacular. Uh, I haven't been riding for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I went camping with the family, so uh, different plans. You're gonna spend time with the family. But today my daughter is in school, it is Friday and uh, that gives me time in the morning to head out to, for a short ride and I'm heading out today to McLean Creek, this is Kadanaskis and cows are here as always. <laughs> Yesterday uh, was also the 1 million march, so that was for indoor donation of our kids in schools uh, be, the kids are being brainwashed uh, so we I took my daughter out of school and we went to participate in that la uh, rally in Calgary downtown um, I always stand by the basic fundamental rights of human got nothing against those people but I don't want that agenda to be implied on our kids in schools I totally disagree with that uh, there's nothing between men and women with everything else they can say whatever they want but yeah there is only men and a woman uh, otherwise there wouldn't be any of us here on this planet uh, that gender ideology goes way too far for my likings so I will stand against all this I got a, uh, my daughter is well aware what's going on, even though she does go to Catholic school, but she knows uh, what is going on right now in our country here with the far left pushing uh, their crappy agendas. Believe it or not, uh, yesterday when we went downtown, it was only 4 degrees and that's 21st of September and today is a little bit nicer day as you see it's a little bit of overcast but still sun is peeking through and uh, right now I started riding it was 12 degrees and uh, right now it is uh, 11 degrees So it was raining last couple days, usually the best to go here after the rain, but uh, there was uh, quite a bit of rain that we had, so I hope it's not going to get too ugly, because that stuff gets quite slick, uh, it's uh, limestone. I was still planning to go camping this weekend with the family, but it's, uh, it is getting cooler, and uh, my daughter for example, she doesn't want to go. This weekend she wants to do something else, so we'll do something different with the family. Potholes are still not as big as they could be at some times.
I go a little bit further here, not too far. Because I have a different plan, but I wouldn't mind, I didn't mind to check this out for a little bit. That's a steep one. Should be able to make it though. There it is different uh, riding out here close to the house with that stuff and riding all day on a BDR like we did in Idaho because a little bit is not bad but if you're riding on the big rocks for a whole day it gets to you. It's always fun though. I keep on saying that I don't want to do it, don't want to do it but every time I get out it's, uh, it's uh, nice to to go through those bumps and uh, have fun for a, for a little bit, but not riding all day.
is beautiful looking at these colors yeah it is nice because I'm all by myself today I passed maybe three vehicles on the way there's like nobody no no dust uh, I really enjoy that sometimes uh, there could be a lot of uh, vehicles going through and uh, when it's really dry you are covered in that white limestone dust that's basically super hard even to wash off because that gets about everywhere I still have to wash my helmet after this summer of riding I have to take it apart and give it a good wash all the in inserts and we did quite a bit of dirt roads this year uh, during the vacation uh, if you haven't watched uh, my videos from Idaho BDR now is the time to get on there and uh, check them out and uh, yeah we did run into trouble with the bike so we had to abort the BDR but we still did uh, probably the hardest stuff of the BDR that uh, you will not see too many people doing on a big adventure bikes well, there's horse trailers a lot of people riding their horses in this area I guess and at the same time almost getting out of this gravel road right here not much longer before they'll close this section and it will be closed for the whole winter I think it closes in November maybe December 5th I'm not 100% sure maybe there is a sign but I think if I remember it's uh, end of November or beginning of December they close this uh, section so yeah you gotta enjoy riding while you can there's not much left living in Canada the season is always very short unless we're gonna get lucky and we will get mild winter because that is also a possibility here in uh, Calgary if that's the case that would be nice then uh, I can take the bike a couple times during winter like I did a couple years ago dress up warm and uh, go riding a little bit of course there's not gonna be any gravel nor any off-road just gonna stick to the main pavement to the main roads at least it's always nice to get out and uh, enjoy the bike at least for a little bit if there is a warm Chinook uh, there's another rider going approaching this from another side and we're getting on the pavement now yeah, it was a beautiful ride. So as you see, the leaves are slowly coming down. They're blowing over the road. So I'll give it another maybe two weeks before it's going to be ugly and gray. And they'll be ready for winter, except I'm not ready. The older I get, the more I hate the winter. Especially now, I messed up my back. So I don't think the snowboarding is gonna be a thing anymore. Maybe skiing, but uh, yeah, my back is sore for over a year now. It doesn't get much better. At least I can ride a motorcycle, it's not painful. 